to my channel. This video is my hashtag 365 days of samples. This project is in collab with my friend here on YouTube, uh, Rachel. Her channel is Rachel Winters and I'll have her link down below. She posts her videos on Sundays, but my schedule does not really work. I have not been able to upload on Sunday. So I upload this on a Monday. So first I'll talk about the products that I had from the last time. And then uh, I'll talk about products from the time before and then we'll pick new products. So what I finished from last time, I, I finished three items. Uh, the first one is this Ulla Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. This was okay. I used it in the morning. Um, it was nothing really to rave about. Uh, this little packet I think lasted me about four times, which I, I was pretty surprised about that. There was so much in here. So it was okay. It's not something that I will run out and purchase. The second item that I did finish is this Belief Peat Miracle Revital Eye Cream. Um, I don't know why it says on here that this is a one-time use. Uh, in reality, this was like, I would say about 10 uses for me. Uh, I tried it at night and I tried it in the morning. It worked better at night because in the morning when I would put on my makeup, it wouldn't stay as well. This product is very thick. Um, it's very hydrating, so it worked better at night. Um, but yeah, something I would consider actually purchasing. It's very hydrating, but I don't know that it really covered any fine lines or helped with any fine lines. Anyways, with something like this, I think you would have to use it for a lot longer to see any real progress, but it was hydrating. Again, I used it. It, it was better to use at night than in the morning. Third product that I did finish is this L'Oreal Revita Lift Miracle Blur kind of, is it a primer? Is it a moisturizer? What is it? I don't know. It says on the back, it's a little bit of everything. Um, this was kind of like a pore filling primer, which I don't usually like just because I don't like that silicone feel. I used uh, out of this packet, I think I got about three uses. It was okay. My skin definitely felt blurred, felt very smooth, but I'm not, I, I'm not a big fan of those products. But if you are, this would be a good thing to try out. Um, I just don't find that I really need them. Uh, my foundation does not last as long when I use that kind of silicone feel product, so it was okay. I mean, I used it, but it's not something I'm going to go out and buy. Now, let's talk about the items that I still did not finish. Uh, the first item is this Fab Ultra Repair Cream. Uh, I am currently over here on this product, so I don't have a lot left. I'm currently right here. Uh, I think I could finish it in one or two more uses. This was very hydrating. It felt very nice on my legs, on, on my arms. I did apply a moisturizer all over my body. I liked it. I did use it once on my face when my skin was really dry and kind of peely. It also worked really well. I don't know why I didn't use it more on my face. Maybe because I have so many other products open for my face. I figured I can finish it if I use it on my body more than, I, more than on just my face. Um, but it was good. Uh, I, I might actually consider repurchasing, but I do have a lot of body lotions. <laughs> so, um, yeah. The next product, and I kind of like totally forgot about this. I've only used it one time, and this is the Live and Proof Perfect Hair Day um, Nightcap Overnight Protector. I used it once. I remember that I put it on at night, and then I woke up and washed my hair the next day. I felt like it maybe weighed my hair down a little bit. Um, I would have to use it more to see if it actually did. I completely forgot about it. The next product that I do have is this Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Uh, I really like this product. Um, I use it on my Clarisonic after I do my first cleanse. I use it on the Clarisonic. It has a little minty smell to it. It's very foamy, like frothy for sure. Uh, I think I'm right here now, but I do know, or I do feel like there's a big air bubble in there. So maybe I don't have as much in here as I thought. Uh, I did not, I, I was sick for a couple days last week, so I kind of like totally 
drop the ball on taking care of my skin so I didn't use this for two full weeks I might have used it like six times the past two weeks um, just because I was like not feeling too well did not really care about taking care of my skin which is never a good idea but yeah we'll see how long this is gonna last me I have a feeling it's gonna go more than two weeks the last product that I had and I totally actually forgot that I, I had picked this thing is uh, Exfoliate by Kate Somerville. I totally forgot that I picked this for the project, so I didn't get to use it, didn't try it. Um, I think I, I will definitely use it in the next two weeks and I'll let you know how it is. The perfume sample that I picked last week is Toka Florence. Um, I used this thing all up, it smelled really nice smelled very strong very florally I don't know that this is something I would personally purchase for myself um, it did smell good nothing bad about it it did last quite some time on my skin but not really a, a scent that I would go out and purchase now let's talk about the products that I had from the previous weeks um, I'm still struggling I don't think I finished any of them. Well, the one thing that I did finish is the perfume sample that I had over from last time. And this is the Prada Candy Gloss. Like I said last time, this is not my favorite. I prefer the just a regular Prada Candy. But I did use this thing up. It was okay. I have the MAC Strobe Cream still. Um, I've made some more progress on it. I'm currently over here. I find like there's the most product is usually over here and like in the cap area or this part um, I maybe one more week left um, it's frustrating I've been using this pretty much every single time I put on foundation I did not realize how much product is in this little guy so still working on it I had picked two primers um, and I'm so close to finishing one of them I think maybe maybe one more use I'm currently over here like at that black line and this is the Too Faced Hangover RX. It's okay, it's very hydrating, it smells nice. Um, I, I've been using it, I've been liking it. It goes really well with the Too Faced uh, Born This Way foundation. So I think I have one more use, hopefully a full use. Um, when I used it this morning, it was kinda like getting there. So maybe one more use. And the other product that I did, or the other primer that I had picked, is MAC Prep and Prime. I used this thing one time. I'm, I was concentrating on using one primer, so I didn't use both of them. Um, so yeah, this only got one use. Uh, another thing that I've finally learned to enjoy and figured out how it works for me is this Ulla Henriksen... Uh, invigorating night transformation gel this is best at night like I said before it balls in the morning when I use it on top of my other products um, but this is uh, I, I've made some progress in it I don't have a whole lot left I still have some but not a whole lot and um, this is best if I don't use retin-a with it I just put on like a serum then I put this and then I put my um, like moisturizer like the cream um, I find that my skin in the next morning looks absolutely beautiful, very plump. Um, so I this is this might be something I would repurchase or purchase a full size of. Uh, a product that I didn't touch at all this past two weeks is this Ulla Henriksen the Truth, the Clean Truth Foaming Cleanser. Um, I'm currently over here. Oops, I'm over here. So I have a lot left in this two cleansers and I had some other cleansers so I'll work on it um I it smells good like oranges so yeah so these are the products that are still ongoing now let's pick seven more products and a perfume sample got my basket over here hopefully I don't pick more face cleansers I ended up picking three products at once um this is the real technique brush cleansing gel I had used a whole bottle of this thing and I liked it okay um, so I'm sure I'll use this guy uh, the other product oh man another face primer uh, the poor professional by benefit at least this is three mils not six like the other ones um, this is a little guy I don't know that I've ever tried this primer so we'll see how it is I have a foundation sample and this is the Mac prolong wear 
um, in the shade NC20. I don't know, this thing I think will probably be about a full week's worth. Um, yeah, it's pretty full in here. It's so, yeah, there's quite a bit of product. I'd requested this couple weeks ago when I stopped by a MAC store to get something I requested a sample because I've used two MAC foundations and I've always been curious about this so we'll see how this is so I need four more let's, let's do this here's two um, <laughs> KNC all natural collagen infused lip mask oh okay I'm gonna look ridiculous I'm gonna take a picture and post it on Instagram I think the pictures look hilarious when people have those on uh, the other thing that I picked is the ultimate miracle worker by philosophy okay so it's a little pad in here it says retinol so I gotta be careful not to use it with other retinol products I need two more products so let's do this and here we go um, hemp sweet pineapple and honey melon bath and body oil Ooh, bath and body oil so okay mm, under bath running water and this is the bamboo smooth anti-frizz am daytime smoothing blowout balm this is a am pm kind of deal so let's see Maybe I'll put the oil and I'll get the AM PM product. Let's do that. So then I'll have like the PM and the AM. Um, we'll have to save that oil for another week. So these are my seven samples. Now let's pick a perfume sample. Here are my perfumes. Let's just get one. Uh, and this is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. Okay looking forward to trying this I don't think I've ever tried it so we'll see how it is uh, again don't forget to check out Rachel's channel I'll have it listed down below if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and I'll see you in my next video bye